Lug Santo Niño Festival is an annual cultural and religious festival held on the third Sunday of January in Cebu City and is the center of the Santo Niño Catholic celebration in the Philippines. Sinulog is the ritual prayer dance honoring Senor Santo Niño or the Child Jesus. An image of the Child Jesus is said to be the baptismal gift the Portuguese conquistador Ferdinand Magellan gave Hara Amihan of Cebu in April 1521. The image believed to be miraculous is housed at the Basilica Minora del Santo Niño in downtown Cebu City. One of the main highlights of the festival is the Grand Street Parade which lasts for 9 to 12 hours with participants coming from the different towns and cities of Cebu from Luzon, Visayas and Mindanao all across the Philippines. The Sinulog dance contingents are dressed in bright colored costumes, dancing gracefully to the rhythm of drums, trumpet and native gongs. The customary dance move includes going two steps forward and one step backward to the sound of the drums while carrying a statue of Santo Niño. The devotees chant Viva Pit Senor, which means Hail the Lord. Recently, the festival has been promoted as a tourist attraction with a contest featuring contingents from various parts of the country. Hello everybody! Guess where I'm out and about today? I am out and about today here at Notre Dame Catholic Church attending the Sinulog Festival. Sinulog Festival is a big, huge religious celebration in the Philippines where we show our love to Santo Niño or to baby Jesus. Here in Houston, Sinulog Festival are held at many churches across the Houston metro area. In the north side, south, east and west, Filipinos from all over the region gather together to celebrate the Sinulog Santo Niño Festival. Notre Dame Catholic Church of Boone Road in Houston was the first stop where I joined the festivities. Let's hear it from the Notre Dame Sinulog organizers. First one I spoke with is Dr. Melly Martinez. According to her, they brought the devotion here. They started with a small family gathering. Then a couple of years after, they invited friends. Then on the third year, they cannot fit in their home anymore. So they expanded and decided to bring it here at Notre Dame Church. And of course, the rest are history. Let's hear more from Basil Agravante. Yeah. Today. So, Tito, tell me more about your your uh, sinulog here. You main, mentioned it to me during our conversation that you have different tribals. Yes. Uh -huh. So, we ha we are um, divided into um, several tribes. So, the original tribe, of course, um, where the founder is, um, um, is the medical center group, uh, medical center tribe. So, um, of course, they li live around the medical center. And then there's the Tribu Norte. Tribal Norte is like um, spring side, and then there's the Tribal Sugarland, southwest side, and then Tribal Missouri City, and then most of the time the Tribal Missouri City, it's like a smaller group, but they invite like friends from different um, places that uh, doesn't have affiliation. And then lastly but not the least, um, my tribal which I belong is Tribal Southeast, which is a um, the youngest tribal in, in, in the group. And we are a combined of uh, Carolyn and uh, Deer Park. 
Wow, so how many three bus is that? Five? Yeah. Wow, you guys are a huge group. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we're getting there. <laughs> so I guess that makes one of them different from the others because they have five tribes, everybody. Moving on to the north side of Houston to St. Francis Cabrini Catholic Church. They started the festivities with a rosary and novena mass, followed by a procession and then celebration. There were over 300 people who joined this event, including Mr. and Mrs. Paul Enriquez, who rendered inspirational song numbers. And a special guest of the night, who is also a Cebuano herself, our very own PhTV host, Crystal Voice of Asia, Ms. Shireen Reyes. There were other Sinulog Festival celebrations in Sugarland, Woodlands, and Manville, Texas. It was all happening at the same time. I wish I can join all of it. Maybe next year, I will try my best to attend your celebration. I find it amazing that Cebuanos outside the Philippines still look for ways to celebrate Sinulog. But not just Cebuanos. Everyone is invited to join the celebrations, have some delicious Filipino food, and dance two steps forward and one step back. Viva Pete Senor! Join me again next time when I go out and about. This is Cheryl Pixio, PHTV. Visit me on Facebook and let me know what you thought about today's episode. Don't forget to like the page. See you soon!